Race number 10. And it is over the 1,200 metres. Trillion win, consistent, but never carried more than 127 pounds to victory. Winning dreamers on the class drop. Silver Fig has won twice on the turf course and distance. Blaze Warrior's gone from the four-year-old mile down to a class two for this. And Cordyceps Six, he's come from a class three to have his first look at class two. California Rad draws a gate. Stoltz makes his Chartin debut. Winning method is a 16-start maiden in this grade, but has placed five times and Ka Ying Master makes his first appearance on the Sha Tin turf since last April. This is a really good field the last of the day, Tom. What does the speed map have uh, as the leader? The leaders, so well, we've got Stoltz to uh, go forward to here from Barrier 3. And well, Classic Unicorn's a, a horse that likes to go forward, but I think he's a bit suspect to over 1,200 metres, and he's been very hard to follow recently, uh, Paul. Uh, winning Dreamer's uh, back in trip, which I think will suit, but gate 14 is not ideal. Yeah, hopefully you'll try and get some cover there. But there's going to be plenty of pace in this race with, as you mentioned, Classic Unicorn Stoltz, who uh, set a track record at um, Happy Valley over 1,000. California Red likes to go forward. Kaying Master likes to go forward as well. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be on the good side, good to far side there for sure. Blake Shin had a terrific day winning the Group 1 with Russian Emperor last Sunday. This horse is a very promising type too. That is Cordyceps 6 and via Zoom. This is what Blake told Nick yesterday. Blake, Cordyceps 6 is a horse who's been in great form recently down the straight at Chartin. He stepped up in trip this weekend. Um, he's a horse very much in form and I imagine you're looking forward to him. Yeah, very much so, Nick. Yeah, he's um, he's a, a horse with uh, plenty of potential. He's uh, building a, a really nice record. Um, he's, he's a young horse going places, I feel. And, you know, he's made his way in, into class two now, so he's tackling tackling the big boys. So there's, there's nowhere to hide for him. So um, we're going to see where he's at on the weekend. But uh, I feel he's a horse with, with plenty of potential and... Um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, where he sits against, uh, you know, a great bunch of uh, horses um, in, the, in the field on Sunday. What's your take on the trip, Blake? I mean, 1,000 to 12, he's done all of his racing exclusively uh, over 1,000 metres. Do, do both you and Richard think he will get the extra distance? Uh, look, I, I'm not sure what, what, what Richard thinks, but I can only speak for myself. But, uh, you know, from my point of view... Um, you know he possesses all the qualities to um, to run run twelve hundred. Um, I believe he's you know he's pretty pretty push button uh, to ride. Um, he settles really well. He conserves his energy physically. He's a he's a strong type, and he runs through the line really well, um, which is what you like to see, especially when you when you're asking a horse to extend out in distance. So um, every indication to me is he will run the distance, but you know, that, that uh, question will be answered um, on, on Sunday. Yeah, it certainly is a, a key trait for him, I think, and a, and a positive one that he does hit the, the line so well. Obviously, the family, Blake, have, have won up to a mile, so there is stamina in that pedigree. Um, on the form basis of that race, I mean, you had Wizkid behind you last time. He's he's come out and won recently at the Valley. Sure. Yeah, look, Wizkid won Wednesday night really impressively. And, look, my horse... Uh, gave Wizkid uh, 16 pounds and, uh, you know, th I, I just think that speaks volumes for Cordyceps 6 uh, ability and and where he's going, um, you know, in Hong Kong. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to end up at a, a very high level and, uh, you know, hopefully on Sunday he can just take a, another step towards uh, where I believe he can end up. There he is, uh, Blake Shin. Paul, you were all over him last time. The step up to 200 metres, no issue in Blake's eyes. What about yours? No, none at all. I, I, I think 1,200 looks ideal for him at this stage of his campaign. Look, he's only rated 88. I think there's plenty of uh, rating points in him as well. And from his, and he goes back down to weight. He only has to carry 121. OK, we move on, to Tom, to our first replay. We've got Winning Dreamer, who, as you mentioned, has drawn wide. Trillium Win has the big weight. California Red's finally got a draw. We've also got Fantastic Way and Wind and Grass coming out of this replay. In all these horses here, of course, uh, chasing home uh, California Spangle. I didn't think it was a bad runner from uh, Trillian Winner here. He was only beaten a length and a half. He has uh, trialled since. I think he needs to be going. I'm, I, I'm a fan of winning Dreamer Paul, but Gate 14 uh, makes it awkward. And Fantastic Way on what he's been doing, he probably has to be a must-include as well. Yeah, I've got Fantastic Way and Trillian uh, Win both in the numbers. I think they both going pretty well. And Trillian Win as well, obviously... Um, 
Uh, is up 19 pounds, actually. And this horse has been burning up Happy Valley. Paul Stoltz. Yeah, look, he has, and he's been going really well. But a 1,000 at Happy Valley, up to 1,200 at um, Tin is a different beast whatsoever. It's just whether he can run out a strong 1,200. I think he should be able to, from what we've seen so far. Uh, Stoltz, he's looked uh, quite progressive. He's acclimatised to with the situation here in Hong Kong uh, quickly. And you can see four starts here, two wins and two, two seconds. So you can't really ask for much more than that. He did win over 1,200 at Wong prior to arriving as well. Winning method got a much-deserved win last time, Tom, but he has struggled to win in this grade. He has. Uh, you look at his record, uh, 16 starts. He's placed on numerous occasions, but uh, never won. Uh, he was pulling up, pulling up last start again with blood in the track here, so internally obviously a little bit of an issue for him, but uh, powered home here, Paul, to beat the uh, inform the runner. Yeah, a nice win from him, but look, there's been a long time between drinks for this horse, so I just wonder if he can put two together. Blaze Warrior, Paul. Interesting horse. Set the world on fire when he came onto the scene. Since then, he's just uh, tempered a little bit with his form. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? Look, I mean, he's been in strong races. I'm a single man packing victory and romantic warrior. But his form's just, just dropped off a little bit. He's drawn 13. Um, that's just a query I had with him. I'll take a chance with him here. Back in trip to 1,200 metres, he's two from two course and distance. I actually quite like the trial as well. He looked to be under a good enough hold uh, going to with the, the line there. So... Look, Keith Young riding for barrier 13. I think he'll be trying to look for some cover from that sort of uh, draw, and I think he can get it and off that trial runner a good race. Straight to the tips, Paul. Yeah, I like what he said, six. I think he can win this. Uh, stepping up to 1,200 looks good for me. A uh, fantastic way. He's going well. Trillion win in Stoltz. 8, 4, 1 and 10. 6, 10, 8 and uh, 4. I'll take a chance uh, with the Blaze Warrior in this uh, final race. Uh, he's on top ahead of uh, number 10, Stoltz. 8, Cordyceps, 6 and 4. Fantastic way. 6, 10, 8 and 4.